So it's past just a problem where you don't have enough blood volume. This is actually the way it was thought about in the early days when we were finding POTS back in like the Mayo Clinic Philip Lowe days. So in that there was a subclassification of POTS that was hypovolemia, right? And this is where the idea of use compression stockings that'll push your blood volume up, drink more salt, water, because that's gonna increase your blood volume, increase your over volume, it's called volume expansion, right? So this idea that if we just give you more blood volume, you can get more to your heart and you can circulate it faster. But then the question is like, is that actually relative to having low blood volume? So in the, in the right atrium of your heart, you actually have volume receptors that are detecting how much blood is coming into the heart. And it can keep that regulated in a pretty tight range, like 1%. So it can tell if your blood volume has changed by 1% and it will start to signal your kidneys and signal blood vessels to be able to start modifying the blood volume to be able to manage that. So the likelihood that we would see our blood volume drop by, you know, 10, 20, 30% enough to be able to like cause you to experience all these problems that may or may not be the thing. So it may not be that we have hypovolemia per se, but it might just mean we have a mismanagement of blood volume where our brain's not able to control the vascular system, the cardiac system, the kidneys in a way that allows us to have efficient blood flow where we're able to send it where it's got to go, quickly get it back up to the heart, send it back out again and get good turnover like that. That's what's being borne out more and more the way we understand it is maybe we don't get good return back to the heart, but it's usually because there's something being impaired in the efficiency of how we're controlling the overall system.